Let's talk about everyone's favorite McCorkle, Mac Jones, and how he played this season. The stats were, well, not as good as we typically expect from Mac Jones in his second year, so I guess I can't say typically expect, but it was a it was a disappointment from a guy who was really promising after year one and looked like, you know, I mean, his rookie year, he had the best rookie year out of a bunch of those great young quarterbacks, but you see, I mean, his passer rating dropped from a 92.5 in his rookie year to an 84.8 and a touchdown interception ratio is 14 to 11 that is very much not good you know the uh, overall bulk totals aren't great because he didn't play as much this year but still this stats were down but hey this is box score stats right who cares about box score stats well if you want to look at his pro football focus grade it doesn't get much better again no this isn't everyone's thing either but still uh going from an 80 grade overall to a 67.5 grade is a significant drop off so what happened what went wrong here was it just matt patricia sucks there's some of that but let's get into all of it so let's start off with this play this is i want to say there were some good things on tape. Like, I definitely, when watching tape, was like, there are things that Jones does here that I think maybe gets very much uh, overlooked. Uh, he, you know, definitely makes his decisions still very quickly. And kind of the thing we liked about Mac Jones in his rookie year was he ran the offense well. And when there were times where he could run an offense, he still ran it well. And this play is a great example where you're going to have its zone coverage that you're going up against right here. And it's going to be Hunter Henry that he's trying to throw the ball to. You see Hunter Henry's route. There's a way it could get into a gap in coverage, kind of past the players covering over the middle, but underneath the safety, right? That's kind of around when it could get open. Right when this play begins, you're going to see that Mac Jones takes the snap. He looks up, and right here, there is a window, but not a huge window. I mean, this is going to really come down to timing more than anything. Can he time this throw perfectly to get it in between that window to get to Hunter Henry? The answer is going to be yes. I mean, you see he does make a good throw, and the reality is, in these situations, the answer is usually yes with McCorkle. I mean, this is what he's able to do, and so, I don't know, uh... I definitely saw this, and I think definitely if you're a Patriots fan, you're going to say, hey, just get him in a better situation. He'll be all right. And there's honestly some truth to that. That's not just Patriots fans uh, being biased. There is some legitimate truth to it. Like this one's another example of, again, him seeing the play well, reading the field well, and making a throw when he should, where you see what's going on right here, where essentially you have two players who are going to be running very close to the numbers on the top of the screen. There's only one corner who is deep who can cover them, so once you get past the middle area of the field, make the throw quickly. Like watch how when Jones takes the snap, you're going to see that at this point, right now, there is a potential for this play to get open. The player, the Arizona player covering over the middle is not staying further deep. So Jones should probably right now be in the throwing motion. And if you look at Jones right now, he is in the throwing motion. Again, quick decision making and timing is so important at the NFL level. And even in this rough year from Mac Jones, you definitely saw when he had opportunities to do this, he did this. Watch him make this throw and he is going to be able to pick up a ton of yards. Once again, to Hunter Henry there. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and say that, oh, you know, being able to torch this Arizona Cardinals secondary is such an impressive feat. I mean, let's be honest, just about everyone did it. But still, it's not the easiest uh, thing to do, these kind of plays. And it's more about what he's doing well, what he's showing on tape more so than just the, the yards and stuff like that. It wasn't all perfect. It certainly wasn't all perfect. There were some negatives. And one of the things that the Patriots just struggle with, and I don't know how much to put this on Jones, but I don't think it's zero. I don't think it's 100% either, but it's somewhere between zero and 100%. That's the expert analysis you get when you come to Jackson Kruger Sports. Uh, you see it at the play on the screen. It's a cover one play. You're going to have uh, Tyquan Thornton, the second round pick from the Patriots, kind of known for a speed guy, drafted to be able to win these types of routes. That's what they need in their offense because they did not have it last year and really did not have it. I mean, two years ago, it was really a mess. They, they made some improvements to try to get it this year, you know, with mixed results. But let's watch what happens on this play. Jones takes the snap. You're going to see that Tyquan Thornton is going to, you know, uh, right off the bat, does a pretty good job, right? That first step, no real contact. It's basically a foot race, and he wins most foot races. More Corkle's throw here, though, is, you know, it looked like Thornton maybe even got slowed down a little bit. Uh, that could have hurt it a little bit, but just didn't quite hit. 
And again, is that a bad throw? Not really. Thornton did get his hands on it and maybe it was slowed down a little bit. It's hard to blame him too much. But at the same time, it was a situation where if you underthrew it a little bit more, then that's a completion. So the reality is they just weren't hitting on those consistently and they never hit on those consistently. Mac Jones has never consistently hit on those plays in the NFL. And that's something that the Patriots have to work on. But a play like this was definitely a much bigger, ex much better example of what went wrong for the New England Patriots. Where I'm not even going to break down the play concept itself. It's more so just talking about what's going to happen. Watch how Jones takes a snap. He looks and doesn't matter what his read is because who's open here? I guess a check down. People get mad at him for taking too many check downs. But like, what else are you supposed to do? And even a check down... I would advise against, to be honest. This is a tough situation, and no quarterback is going to look good when literally every single eligible receiver on a play is not open. And this is kind of something that people blame Patricia for, and I don't think that that's unfair. I also think that it's a personnel issue. They don't have elite wide receiving play by any means. So when you add on those two things, this is where things get tricky and kind of where the issues would definitely arise. Mac Jones' throw here, I'm not sure if this was intended to be uh, maybe one of those like has a chance of being caught. Maybe it was kind of one of those, it's a throwaway, but maybe you can find a way to make a play. I don't know. But either way, there was just no way that he was going to get much going on that play. So I'm not going to hold anything against him on that one. But the reality is, those things hurt his numbers, and those things can force you to make bad decisions sometimes because you're getting frustrated. You feel like you have to make a play. You start making decisions that you probably shouldn't. That can absolutely happen on top of it. So definitely this is a huge issue, and for Mac Jones' development, the Patriots have to try to avoid this issue at all costs in this offseason to make sure it doesn't happen again next year. But I want to talk about a positive note uh, here uh, to end this, you know, for the final part of this video. This is where I want to go because I think it's important to, you know, talk about the good uh, with Mac Jones as well because I do think there is good. I, I do. I think that there still are positive traits with Mac Jones. And here's an example of it where it's going to be a zone coverage play. You see how the concept can work, right? Have your outside receiver run a deep route. That takes the corner deep. He then, okay, great. You succeeded. Now you have another player kind of fake as though he's running over the middle. But then when he gets back to where the corner was, hopefully there's no one there. You can make a throw and get a completion there. As you see, Mac Jones takes the snap, and he's going to actually, you know, watch him. He scrambles outside the pocket, and this is something that I do feel like is a bit underlooked with Mac Jones. I think he is someone who can move around a little bit. I'm not saying he's Lamar Jackson, but I feel like people act like he's, you know, this complete statue back there. He's not. He can move a little bit. Again, Certainly not uh, a, a ma massive positive attribute or anything, but just that he can move and he can throw off balance. He has a player who's now wide open, but for some reason, that's not where he's going to go. Uh, why not? I can't tell you. I don't know. And certainly it'd be fair to say, uh, well, and this is a negative, right? You should be throwing it to the guy who's w uh, wide open. That is who McCorkle is going to look towards. This is now a much more difficult throw for him to pull off, but... Let's see how well he does. Look, as you see, he is able to make this throw. Very good throw from Mac Jones. I don't know. Hit the open guy next time. There, there was some traffic over the middle, but still probably the right move. Uh, but give credit to Jones for being able to still pull off a throw that many other people would not be able to pull off. He is someone who can physically play the position well on top of it. He's not just... Uh, a brain. He is someone who has an arm and can move a little bit as well, although definitely his decision making is the best attribute by far that he has. So I don't know. It's interesting. I mean, you know, he got he got some Tua comparisons coming out. Uh, well, Tua's third year was the one that he really kind of took that next step. Maybe we'll see the same for McCorkle. I don't know. But those are my thoughts of him, which overall, a disappointing season, but kind of I felt feels similar to how I felt about Tua. Uh, last year, which is you got to get him in a better situation before you can make any sleeping judgments on it is kind of the main way, my main takeaway. Unless, again, if Lamar Jackson wants to play for you, you sign Lamar Jackson. But other than that, I think that's what you do. But yeah, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.